Okay guys, today we're going to be working on revision. Okay, the objective is that writers revise for clarity, precision, authority, and novelty. And we're going to be using a new way to uh, help each other arrive at some ideas and strategies for revising your poems. Again, you're, here are your goals for revision. Absolute clarity, precision, authority, and novelty. Four things that you are working on any time that you revise a poem or any other kind of writing. What do these mean? Well, absolute clarity means that your reader should never wonder what is going on. You need to give enough information in every sentence so that it is clear to the ear and the eye, meaning that when it's read or your reader is looking at it on the page, it makes sense, and it makes sense if your reader is, or your listener is listening to you speak the poem. Precision means that you've chosen every word as carefully as a watchmaker chooses his parts. One wrong gear or one wrong screw in place and you, the watch isn't going to function. One way to know that you're being precise is that you have meant what you said and that you've said what you mean. Your writing must come from you. You are the author, and so your voice and your perspective must shine through every word and every sentence. Finally, and this is what we'll be working on today, is novelty. The goal of any poem should be, or any piece of writing should be, to help the reader see the world in a new way. You want to avoid cliché, redundancy, and timid, flat, lifeless lines. Your reader should be interested in what you have to say. And whenever they see the thing that you're describing or talking about in the real world, they should think of your poem or your writing. That is the ultimate goal of any kind of creative writing. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do a protocol called design thinking, and you are going to be doing an interview of each other, but in a way that is not the same as workshop and not the same as uh, giving feedback, okay? Uh, so work with me here, listen to what, what you're gonna be doing, okay? The protocol looks like this. You're gonna be doing an interview with one partner, okay? So ch choose a draft that you think you understand uh, is, is aiming to have your reader see the world in a new way perhaps your best draft. What you're going to do is share that draft with your partner electronically, and then you're going to read it aloud. Partner two is going to read along in the shared document. So this is how it's going to be different than workshop. The next thing you're going to do is after you've read your draft, you're going to explain to your partner what you were trying to accomplish with the poem. How were you trying to get your reader to see the world in a new way? You don't have to read the poem. You don't have to choose specific words. You just need to be able to explain to your partner what the poem's about and what you're trying to do with it. Meanwhile, if you are partner two, you listen and take notes on what your partner says. The third step is to listen, is to mirror. That was where partner two talks for one minute only about the partner's goals. Okay, so you mirror back what you've just heard and have a conversation and make sure that partner two understands exactly what partner one is trying to do with his or her poem. Now, the next step is where things get really interesting. For five minutes, partner two is going to interview partner one about the poem. Now, here's what I want you to remember. The conversation can go anywhere, but it should be organic and real. I've given you some sample questions here, but if all you do is walk through the questions and you don't listen to what your partner is saying, this exercise isn't going to mean anything. So what I need you to do is listen to your partner's answers, if you're partner too, and ask questions that follow up on what, what they say. Your goal is to get insight about the poem itself, okay? Your goal is to talk about what the poem is trying to do. If you, if the interview is about filling up a form, it's not going to be effective. So here are six questions that can get you started. And here's the next step. Now, if you're partner two, you're going to be doing a lot of the work. 
So for 10 minutes, partner two is going to study the answers that your part, the partner one gave in the interview. And based on the goal of the poem, so you have the goal and you have this interview information, now you're going to invent strategies for revision. You have to supply your partner with specific suggestions for a new draft of the poem based on what you know about what the poem is trying to do. This is not workshop, okay? You're not just looking at what's there and making suggestions and line edits and that sort of thing. This is about making a new poem altogether, okay? So you have 10 minutes to, as quickly as you can, come up with a new title, uh, a pattern for line length, some specific word choices and images and metaphors, and a first and last line. Okay, you are trying to invent a form for the next version of this poem. Okay, and if you're making a revision to something that was an exercise that had a lot of rules to it, all of those rules can be thrown out. The only thing that's important is the purpose of the poem. The only thing that is important is novelty, getting the reader to see the world in a new way. Meanwhile, partner one, while partner two is doing this invention, you open a document for the second draft, you wait and for the 10 minutes to go by, and then the real work is about to get begin for you. So what happens after this invention stage is that partner two will now describe the plans for revision to partner one. Partner one, in your new document, take notes on what partner two is saying about this poem, this new poem, okay? Keep in mind that I want you to follow the suggestions for revision very carefully. In a later draft, you can always reject them or change them. But for right now, I want you to follow what your partner tells you to use as the rules for creating your new poem. Then you'll take a little breather and you'll change roles. Partner one will share a poem or you, partner two will now be partner one and will share one of their poems and you'll go through the process one more time. At the end of the day, you should have a specific and detailed goal for making a new poem. Make it in the drop folder as revision two or version two of the poem that you shared at the beginning of the exercise. I hope this is clear and I hope that it's fun and I look forward to hearing how it went when I see you again later in the week.